Anyway, we're getting on to our next match here. Uh, the next match on the cookie, we got another advanced match. Sally, man, if he's there, that ruins the advanced generation joke. So, leading off, we got Lydian on the blue team, Alakazam, and Cedra. Yeah, and on the red team, they've got the Manaphy, Houndoom, Tangela, pretty standard water, fire, grass core. That is. So looking at this right away, it's Lydian versus Manaphy in the first slots. And Lydian does have that advantage with that Giga Drain. But Manaphy also has an advantage in Bounce, so it could go either way. And it also has that Aqua Rate to at least recover some HP each turn. On the second slot, we've got Alakazam versus Houndoom. Houndoom definitely has the one up in this one, being immune to Alexam's side beam over there, so Megronome would be its only way of dealing consistent damage, and it's not even consistent. Yeah, what's that Metronome? Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, and Tangler vs. Seagra, similar with Power Whip from Tangler being super effective on Seagra, and Bounce being super effective on Tangler, could easily go either way. Yes, this is a pretty even match. Well, yeah, ignoring the fact that Ledian's stats aren't too fantastic. Ledian's best stats here seems to be in its special defense and HP. Yeah, well even then, its HP isn't too spectacular. Because the only thing with less HP than it is Alakazam, which is meant to not have very good HP. It does have a decent special attack how did was that that solar power ability to pair up with its sunny day, which can pair up with its solar beam in a way, so this how do seems to be a pretty good set. So we've got about 15 seconds left, it looks like the blue team is the underdog, but that can change in 10 seconds. And Mac has started. Yeah, but it looks like the blue team is more of an underdog, 302% payout chance for the blue team. You know have all the red teams on, you get about a third of what they put in. The problem. Yeah, leading off Ledian versus Manaphy. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Ledian seems to want to lead with a uh, Giga Grain or an Air Crusher. No way, no way. Looks like we're going for the early switch, as Manaphy is going to be swapped out for Houndoom. This is going to soak up that Giga Grain. But Lydian's gonna go for the bug buzz, and that's gonna be neutral damage. Oh, nice prediction there, blue team. Now Doom is gonna absorb some life for that solar beam. Lydian, meanwhile, is gonna go for another bug buzz, and that's gonna bring Now Doom down to critical health. This isn't looking good for the red team. They might lose one of their powerhouses very quickly. I'm doing this look up with that solar beam, but I don't think it's gonna do that much damage. Minion goes for another bug buzz, and with that, how doom is already out. That is not good. Ledian definitely has to one off from both Manaphy and Tangela. Blue team pretty much already Manaphy got rid of Manaphy coming back out here. Yeah, the blue team already got rid of the wall that can stop out of the Zane, which is not good. It looks like they're gonna switch it to Cedra. Yeah, I think they might be going for the toxic strats here. 
Maybe Phoenix is gonna go for the Aqua Ring, which means it's gonna be color. Oh, turn. Cedar goes for Toxic, and that's gonna touch the Poison Maybe. Okay, meanwhile, goes for the Energy Ball, that's gonna be super effective. I honestly think the best move the blue team should have done was to go for that Encore. They predict the man who's gonna go for that upper read. Meanwhile, Seeker's gonna go for the bounce. Man, he tries to attack by the misses and it's toxic of poison is gonna take the effect. Meanwhile, Seeker's gonna go for another bounce. It's gonna do some damage. Secret, Secret takes Ghost a goes down to the energy ball. So it's just Lady and Anakazam, but it's Manaphy and Tangela. I don't think the blue team does have a good advantage here either way. It looks like they're gonna go for that Alakazam. Looks like they're gonna go in and hope that metronome draws a good move, but Manaphy is going to be swapped out for that Tangela. Yeah, Tangela is, can't be too much okay. Alakazam, drop! Waterfall for a metronome. Not going to be very effective. Yeah, the good thing about Faking Mana Fear is that it does. Ooh, looks like they're gonna switch into Lydia. I believe that means the Toxic Poison counter does reset. I don't think it actually goes back to this Red Poison. Not sure about that, but either way, it's a good move for the Red Team. But Lydia gets paralyzed from Tangela's attack. Tangela is gonna go for that body slam. Lady and Lydian gets paralyzed. And it's not looking good for the blue team anymore. They're gonna switch back into Alakazam. Meanwhile, Lydian is. I mean, Tangela is gonna go for that power whip. Looks like the blue team is really getting unorganized now. Alakazam is going to go for that side beam! Do a good amount of damage on that Tangela, but that Tangela is going to hold on with half HP. Tangela is going to attack, and that's going to finish off Alakazam. Looks like the blue team did have a good advantage at one point, but looks like they're gonna throw it away as Lydian paralyzes to come out. I don't think it's gonna survive this attack. And with that, Lydian and is Lydian down. goes down. And with that match over, I just want to quickly say that I, I, even though I'd still be on for the next half hour, I will be dropping off after now that this match is concluded because this team viewer lag is making it very hard for me to be able to see what's actually happening in these match games. So you should be getting a replacement commentator, but Pokemon Guard 777 signing off here. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Alright, we'll see. I'll see you next time. Who could my new co pop be? Let's find out whenever that happens.
Meanwhile, the Pocket Monsters Green Translated Edition, we got Facing Blue. With question of Pokemon in that body. Here we go, we got a normal match this time around. We're switching off. So looking off for the blue team, we got Mr. Mind with Filter, Iggly Bulb with Q Charm, and Polyrath with Water Absorb. For the red team leading off, we got Polywag with Damp, Smoochum with Oblivious, and Sunkern with Chlorophyll. And both Smoochum and Sunkern have a Focus Sash equipped. Which means they'll be able to tank at least one attack. All right, you are hearing yet another voice in for Pokemon God. I am G Force Fly, and you are listening and watching Twitch Plays Pokemon. The original Twitch Plays Pokemon ever since February 2014. Hello, so have... Shadow Puppet. Hello, Shadow Puppet. Anyways, we got about two minutes left here in this. Uh, betting period for this normal match, just normal, not amazing, not just merely normal. With switching the sable. All right, I already went over the modes and the Pokemon. So, is there anything you see for this match? Unlucky? Maybe. Maybe not. You know, with a quick look, this match seems a bit pretty even, too. Igglybub does have that seismic toss, which means they're able to deal 100 damage no matter what. Mr. Mon Igluba also does have that Shadow Ball, which can be good against that spiritual. Thirty seconds left to get your bets in for this normal match with switching off. Not a lot of betting action so far, but that could change at any point. Ten seconds left, the red team seems to be the slight underdog, but that probably can change at any moment. Here we go, it looks like the blue team is now the slight underdog, but anything can happen as we enter the Courtyard Coliseum. There might be fog in our future. The green trainer and the pink trainer will get this match underway. No fog this time around. But here oh, we yeah. go. Height noses hits Mr. Mime, and his Mime is dealt to sleep. Curious start for the blue team as they didn't use fake out. Mr. Mime immediately wakes up and then tries to use fake out one turn too late. Meanwhile, Polybag is going to go for the Hydro Pump, and that's going to do some good amount of damage on that Mr. Mime. Pretty good hit from that Polywag. Oh, Mr. Mime, stop doing that. You can only use that once and only on the first turn. Polywag goes for another Hydro Pump, but this is... Meanwhile, Polywag goes for a Psychic. That's not going to do much. Not very effective on Mr. Mine, and now it's going to use Zen Headbutt! Pretty Mass strong hit! Strong hit, massive damage, can Polywag retaliate? It's 
gonna go for another Hypnosis and it's gonna connect. Mr. Mime turns into Resident Sleeper. Here comes Polywag, he's gonna use another Hypnosis. Looks like I didn't switch in time. Mr. Mime's gonna wake up again! And in comes a Zen Headland! That should finish off Polywag! Unlucky for the red list, the blue team got two quick wake-ups. Indeed, now the red team will send out their Smeechum. Mr. Mind will lead off and use Zen Headbutt once again, looking for a possible flinch. A decent hit, just above half health and the flinch. This is not looking good for the red team. Smoochum is going to go for the blizzard. Do a good amount of damage to bring Mr. Mind to critical health. Mr. Mind turns to meditate to increase its attack. I wonder if we'll go first on the next turn. I think there's a speed tie. Does it? Smoochum's gonna connect with the blizzard and Mr. Mind is down. I wonder if Mr. Mind was being greedy as it goes down and in its place will come Igri Buff. The blue team has a 124% payout. Should they win this match? Chip is gonna go for the sidekick on that Igly buff. That's gonna bring it down to half health. Igly buff responds with counter! But you can't counter psychic. Can't counter a special attack. Blue Chip's gonna go for another sidekick and that may finish off Igly buff. And that's gonna put the blue team in trouble as now all they're down to is their Polyrath who is weak against Smoochum's psychic. Not looking good for the blue team, as Polygrass is weak to both red team's Pokemon. Now let's see what happens next. Moochum goes for another Psychic! And that's gonna put Polyrath in trouble! It's gonna respond with a Focus Blast! And Smoochum is down! Here we go. Sunker can take one hit thanks to that focus sash. So the red team's gonna hope this attack is worth it and takes them Polyrath to win this match. Polyrath's gonna use vacuum wave. And that's gonna put it above half health. Sunker's gonna respond with energy ball. It's and this game effective. is over. The red team will get an 80% payout. And the red team does make sure some currents. Guaranteed attack is worth it. Pink Trainer is happy with her victory, leading the red corner to the W. Now we return to our side game. It is Pokemon Kapow Bootleg something green or another. There is one token on the line, so get an input in if you want a chance to win a token. few seconds the token will be distributed 
And the recipient of the token will be...